State and South Dakota Vines football teams are both conducting spring practice. It's a chance for players to develop their overall skills. Here's a closer look. Let's go. The South Dakota Mines football team is conducting its annual spring practice. And the spring session is a great opportunity for players to develop their skills. Develop depth within your guys who are here um, during the fall fall camp. A lot of times you're preparing for the season, but now is a chance to really um, focus on your, your team and make sure your guys are getting better uh, from week to week and focus on just making everybody on the team better rather than focusing on an opponent. You know, I think the biggest thing for us from a spring ball standpoint is we get 15 practices within a 36 day time period. So it's an opportunity for us to continue to grow as a football team, create some more depth within our football team. We'll have two, maybe three inter squad scrimmages and put our kids through some different situations to continue to make them better and get our, our younger kids a lot more rep Spring practice also provides the coaches a chance to introduce the players to new looks and schemes. We're playing around with some new coverages, some new fronts, um, you know, trying to, you know, figure out how we how well those work in our with our guys and as well as just, you know, working to become positionless, um, not necessarily be so stuck on what your position title is, but being multiple and being able to do a lot of different things. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us offensively is we've got to find a way to take care of the football. Uh, you know, last year in the games that we had lost, we'd lost the turnover margin. And, you know, I think that's probably our, our biggest Achilles heel right now as a football team offensively is we've got to find a way to take care of the football. And that's something we've really stressed up to this point this spring and, and will continue to stress all spring long. While the practices do get pretty competitive at times, the spring session also allows the team to form a strong bond. Yeah, most definitely. We build up some rapport. It is uh, hard because we go against each other every day. So, you know, you gotta, you're gotta you competing against each other and we got a lot of competitive guys. So, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of bickering and, you know, you're not, not liking them as a competitor. But, you know, you're definitely learning a lot and um, getting to know those guys that maybe were on scout team and um, learning what they can do. Hard Rockers will play their annual spring game a week from Saturday on the 20th. One note from high school basketball, Jack John Hess, the head coach of the Wall Girls basketball team, has decided to step down from the job. Very successful coach for the Eagles, coached the team for 17 years and led them to the state tournament this season. So he's going out on top. Congrats to John Hess on a great run with the Wall Girls basketball team. What's going up, coming up tonight, Vic? Rush in action tonight back at home taking on Wichita tonight. That game starts at 7 o'clock over at the Monument Ice Arena. I'll have the highlights for you at 9 and 10. All right, thank you very much, Vic.